food evening from Bangkok Savannabum Airport. I have just arrived from Koh Samui, from where I will soon post a hotel review. Subscribe to my channel not to miss it. Tonight I will be flying with Thai Airways to Seoul in business class, or Royal Silk as Thai Airways calls it, which gives me access to the dedicated business class check-in area and priority security at this massive airport. Check-in and security completed within minutes, I'm already on my way to the lounge. Not the Thai Airways lounge, but the Turkish Airlines lounge. You may wonder why. While I have had pleasant experiences in the Thai Airways lounge a few times before, I was recommended to try out the praised Turkish Airlines lounge. As both airlines are members of the Star Alliance, I had access to both airline lounges. And the Turkish Airlines lounge didn't disappoint. See for yourself, while I shut up for a moment. A neck and shoulder massage was also included in the lounge access, of which I certainly made use of. Already too soon it was time to head to the gate for my red-eye flight on board Thai Airways Airbus 350-900. It's been a few years since the last time I flew with Thai Airways, so I'm quite excited to fly them again. And there she is, the beauty of an A350 that will take me to South Korea tonight. And voila, my seat for tonight in this one to one business class cabin layout. Depending on the seat row, you are either sitting right next to the window or right at the aisle. I chose the window option as I believe it provides extra privacy. A quick glance to the rear of the long aircraft cabin where you can find the economy class organized in a 333 layout. I have never flown in Thai's economy class, but I have heard that it has pretty comfortable seats and legroom. Back to my seat I have this extra storage space which is already occupied by my tripod. And the armrest is located in a way that I am not accidentally interfering with the touchscreen remote control. At my seat I found this little amenity kit which we will check out later in the flight. And there are also these headphones. For the time being I have put all of this into the foot space in front of me and below I find some storage space for my shoes or cabin bag. I rarely take off my shoes before we are airborne. Can you imagine why? Let me know in the comment below. A welcome drink was served together with a hot towel while boarding is still in its full swing. All the major controls are located here, from the light setting up to the seat position selection. And here is the IFE remote and gaming control, as we just saw earlier, which can be pulled out for easier use. The noise cancelling headphones are from AKG and I like that Thai Airways brands them with their CI. And let's not forget the mandatory look at the safety card. These business class seats have a pretty unique table storage architecture, basically forming part of the wall and it can be moved into position super easily. Also if you need to get out, the table can be moved aside like this and problem solved. And it's just a little detail, here's also a code hook if needed. Let's have a look at the amenity kit, which seems to be provided by the Thai designer Von Sugunasil, which I'm sure I completely mispronounced. Ah, I just got the chance to order my choice of food for tonight and the next morning. So maybe let's deep dive into the amenity kit a bit later. Unfortunately, there are no individual air fans. Not sure why this is even an option for operators. It's time to buckle up and, as you can see, these seats ensure safety with a three-point harness. I'm pleased to see that there are not only one, but two USB ports. But now it's time for the safety video, as we are about to leave the stand. Honestly, this is the most bizarre safety information video I have ever seen in over 1400 flights. Or when was the last time you saw a smoking flamingo in a safety video? 
or a baby with angel wings. Holy cow! I'm ready, so let's push back and get on our way into the night. are airborne, a good chance to have a look at the IFE, such as this moving map. There's also this pretty extensive list of movies, not like Emirates or Singapore Airlines extensive, but still extensive enough to make sure boredom is not being mentioned once during the flight. A small late night dinner was served while I was struggling to stabilize my camera during the turbulences we were just experiencing. <laughs> I was glad the dinner was small and quick as it is already way past midnight and I'm looking forward to try out the flat bed. It's not the longest and widest business class bed I have had so far, and I struggled a little bit stretching my legs into the foreseen hold. But this is mainly due to my size of 1m93 or 6 foot 4. Eventually I found the right twist to lay flat, and the blanket proved to be a snuggly one. Good night and see you for breakfast. The night, however, was pretty short, and I was already awake again abeam Taipei, which provided an impressive sea of light about 36,000 feet below. Shortly after, breakfast was served all on one tray. I really prefer the separate servings, fully aware it means extra work for the cabin crew. It just makes a difference in terms of the premium real feel. For breakfast I went for coffee and juice, a croissant, and a very tasty chicken with egg and rice, plus some fruit and a yogurt. Butter and jam were also part of the combo. And before I forget, let's go for another attempt to have a look at the amenity kit. It contains a Thai branded eye mask in a biodegradable packaging, this generous amount of hand moisturizer by a company called LRL, a pair of socks, a toothbrush and toothpaste kit, earplugs, a content information leaflet, a biodegradable shoehorn and some lip balm. Quite an okay amenity kit, I would say, with the travel size shoehorn actually being my favorite piece. 
a faint layer of dawn is becoming visible while we are descending towards Seoul Incheon Airport. Welcome to South Korea! This concludes my flight review and I did enjoy the flight despite the red-eye nature of the flight. The cabin crew was not overly attentive but yet quite friendly. But compared to other Thai Airways business class flights, I've had way better experiences regarding the friendliness, engagement and motivation. It may have been the nighttime hours of this service to Seoul as passengers as well as the crew itself are probably rather tired. Catering was wonderful and the business class seat I would consider okay, although not quite made for somebody my size. Overall, the Thai Airways business class experience on this Airbus A350 I consider as slightly above average. And I certainly would book them again. If you liked this little review, please consider leaving a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. That would be wonderful. Have a great time. See you next time and bye for now.